Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. Massive news today. We've got most of the Fortnite Season 2 Battle Pass officially leaked, okay? From a reliable source, Hypex in China, the news just came out uh, about two minutes ago. So, let's jump into it. First, Fortnite, this all came out this morning. Hypex received reliable info with China that Aaron Yeager, Yeager is the secret skin. Uh, so, yes, Battle Pass secret skin. Aaron, Aaron, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Attack on Titan is our next big anime collab. I'm sure there are things that come with it. We do know about one thing that comes with it, and that is a new mythic. Fortnite times Attack on Titan mythic. It's going to be a waste grappler, and you'll be able to see Aaron Yeager using it in Season 2's loading screen. This is from the same reliable source that, that, that contacted Shine and I about uh, the Battle Pass stuff. So, we know a mythic. For next season and yeah p part of i guess the main loading screen uh will be you know kind of similar to the the image you see uh that i showed you there with the waist grappler okay so there's our first one our first secret skin reveal uh of course we've got this skin uh shina did confirm this skin will be in the battle pass uh, it, yeah, his reliable source ha has, has said the same thing so there's another one and then there will also be a new drift skin a remixed version uh, of drift this one makes sense because remember drift is a part of the fox clan just like vi and we know the fox clan is going to be important next season storyline wise so yeah confirmed a uh, remixed version and then they come and they drop this tweet a look at the fortnite season two battle pass now uh it's the skin for there's three of the skins we talked about there right the middle one would be the remix drift uh the, the reptile guy on the left and then aaron on the right the other two are confirmed these are images of the survey skins they're based on so of course when, when they actually drop in the battle pass they could look a little bit different uh from them but these are the official concepts that the the five battle pass skins are based off of so yeah what do we get eight eight skins in a battle pass so we already know five of the skins uh pretty massive leak today and hypex actually added on to this saying that the drift remix skin is not here so i i kind of thought that that middle one might be the drift remix but i guess not i guess it's a totally different so that'll make six so these five skins plus the drift remix skin uh will make six battle pass skins that we officially know about i mean they look good again we really got to see the styles of what like what they look like in game i've been waiting for that like blue purple haired uh i don't know creepy skeleton guy for a while now he was one of my favorites from the survey so uh, again if it looks good in game this could be a, a pretty good battle pass and i think for you attack on titan fans you're probably going to be a little excited right and also they dropped this Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 is futuristic uh, Neo-Tokyo themed. Uh, so similar to the Chapter 1 Season 9 vibes that we had. Uh, same same reliable source and pretty pretty big news, right? Pretty big news. We were kind of already on that. We had we had retro, you know, Asian uh, Neo-Tokyo type of theme. So futuristic, not retro. <laughs> the opposite, right? So yeah, we, we were pretty close and uh, let me know your thoughts on any of this are you excited uh for the new season we got some poi stuff as well uh stick around and of course make sure to subscribe turn your notice on i'll be kept keeping you up to date on all leaks leading up uh to to the end of this season and to the start of the next all content creator icon skins will return to the item shop around march 4th the icon series is getting bigger and bigger and there's just there's some really good looking skins in there even if you're not necessarily a fan of the creator okay a couple story theories uh for next season uh, it's kind of separate from the big leaks we just talked about more related to uh the quests at the end of this season uh story theory a prophecy stellan finds reads a beautiful monster enabled by the hubris of a champion right the beautiful monster must be geno he's genetically perfect on the outside but on the inside he will stop at nothing to achieve perfection okay so that's just again we really think geno is going to come into play he's going to come into play at some point here and i'm talking zero point geno the shapeless man uh maybe we get to see a version of him in the uh, you know upcoming season two trailer 
We'll see. Uh, another one here. According to Stellan, the refined kinetic ore is what allowed the shapeless man, Geno, to haunt him again after centuries, right? To find him in his dreams again. In the end, Stellan claims that Geno essentially won, so we will likely see him return through the rift in season two. So Akko is on board with him coming through the rift uh, for season two. Again, maybe part of the trailer. I'm really hoping so. Uh, and again, imagine, I, I'm kind of thinking, I, I even brought it up in a previous video, guesses on what could come through that, that crack in the sky, that rift. Uh, the last reality is is on our minds, but imagine instead it's it's Geno, his warship, and just a bunch of IO airships coming out of space. I think I would love that. Uh, I, I'm also down for something you know totally different and random. But if it's if it's something we're gonna recognize, uh, yeah, Geno leading an army of IO of IO ships, I think would be top of my list. So maybe this is just all theory. Let me know your thoughts down below. There will be a new battle bus for the FNCS Major 1. I believe that's coming up this weekend, so a new uh, battle bus, temporary battle bus, uh, will drop for it. A lot of people are angry. I do want to hear your thoughts on this with the, the Witcher style. Uh, you know, it, it looks pretty similar. The, the only change is like a, a green tint, really, to the armor. And yeah, I, I know it's, it's gotten a lot of people angry. And I think the, here's a quick Photoshop of what uh, that guy 7658 on Reddit was hoping for Geralt's uh, alternate style. And yeah, that seems a lot, lot more cooler than, than what we got. Uh, I think the main problem is this though. It's not that the style's necessarily bad, it's that they hid the style, built up so much hype for it, and then the reveal was just, again, like just an armor tint, right? I think it was a weird way to do it. I mean, the, gl the glider, the horse glider is awesome. I I'm a big fan of it. Uh, but I don't know, why hide the style if the reveal was just going to be a letdown, right? It's kind of a weird way to do it. Let me know your thoughts down below, if uh, especially for you, you uh, Geralt fans out there. Uh, Adonis Creed, we got a locker showcase. He's officially uh, decrypted. He's ready to go. I believe, yes, the cup is today, right? March 1st, and then the he should be dropping in the item shop tomorrow. I'm a big fan of this skin, of the, the styles that come with it, the back bling. It's, it, it's a good pack, right? And I am a fan of the movie. I've only seen the first movie, uh, but I really did like it. Love Michael B. Jordan. Big fan. So, yeah, okay, I'm picking it up, all right? <laughs> That's my point. I'm picking it up. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, also, quick showcase, a, a better showcase of those new caper, uh, the caper skins specifically, the spray skins they are now dubbed as. Uh, Fire Monkey does a pretty big showcase. So in the background, as I'm rambling, I'll, I'll, I'll let you uh, watch through that and see, see kind of what can be altered, what spots you can put sprays on. Uh, it, it, we're really waiting for this skin. I, I can't wait to have the, the two of these skins. Customizability is just insane. So while you're watching that, though, uh, it looks like the Peace Syndicate may play an important role in Season 2. And the Peace Syndicate, a faction that first appeared during the Vibin season, uh, Evie and Twin are the members we know about so far. And the reason is we've got these uh, transmissions in the files with this recent update, uh, and a lot of them mention uh, Peace Syndicate. For example, a good syndicate is hard to find. Absolute peace corrupts absolutely. All's fair in peace and war. Uh, a couple other ones here. Don't look a gift fox in the mouth. Every fox has its stray. Couple teasers for the fox clan as well, right? So fox clan, uh, peace syndicate, I think both are going to play an important role in our next season. And then finally, broken bits of the foundation statue have been added back to the files who would love to see the return of the big landmark of the chapter three map i sure would touch that like button for me on your way out take care talk soon thanks for watching goodbye